This is the fifth and last module of our discussion on complex trigonometric functions. So far, we defined them, we discussed their different properties, we uh, proved different identities, and most importantly and interestingly, we discussed the mappings associated with these trigonometric functions. In fact, we studied in details uh, the mappings sine z, cosine z, and tangent z. And uh, we discussed what are going to be the images of different shapes and images from z plane into the w plane under these trigonometric map functions. Okay, now uh, last but not least, we are going to uh, study the derivatives of these trigonometric functions in this module. Okay, and of course, uh, at each step, we, are, we will be uh, comparing these derivatives with the uh, real uh, analysis case as well. Okay, now uh, let's begin with our first uh, result. Of course, if we know the derivative of sine z and, and cosine z, then uh, using the properties of the derivative that we have proved, uh, we can easily calculate the derivatives of other trigonometric functions like tan z, cotangent z, secant z, and cosecant z. Now, uh, let's see how to prove, uh, for example, d by dz of sine z is equal to cosine z. Okay. Now, uh, in this case, we are going to use uh, the series definition of sine z. Now, uh, this series, we can use uh, the ratio test or the root test to prove that this series is basically uh, convergent for each and every value of z. So, that's why we can use the result of term by term differentiation and we can uh, in fact uh, calculate the derivative of this series by calculating or by adding uh, the derivative of each and every term. Okay, like this. Now, uh, taking the derivative of uh, the general term, we are going to get this thing. Of course, uh, it is going to be the derivative of z raised to power 2n plus 1 is going to be z raised to power 2n and okay and this uh, is a, just a constant and it is going to be the same okay and uh, in the next step uh, just simplify these steps and uh, because this 2n plus 1 will be cancelled out so this 2n plus 1 we get from uh, the derivative of z raised to power 2n plus 1 using the power formula so we get 2n plus 1 uh, multiplied by z raised to power 2n so if we cancel this 2n plus 1 with the uh, with part of this factorial of 2n plus 1 then we get 2n so uh, which is exactly the same once again using the series definition of uh, cosine uh, z uh, this is equal to cosine z so that's why uh, we can easily prove that uh, the derivative of sine z is equal to cosine z and using uh, the same steps okay, so there should be there should be a minus sign over here so using the same uh, procedure using the same definition of uh, uh, cosine z to be the series definition and using the same uh, steps we can easily prove that uh, the derivative of cosine z is equal to minus sine z and using these two uh, derivatives we can uh, prove the following uh, derivatives that uh, derivative of tan z is equal to secant square z derivative of cotangent z is equal to minus cosecant square z derivative of secant z is equal to secant z tan z and derivative of cosecant z is equal to minus cotangent z cosecant z and uh, we know from our college that these are exactly the same formulas as we have from the real case. So, there is no difference of uh, derivatives from real case into the uh, complex case. Now, uh, let's for example, choose the first one and try to prove this formula using the properties of derivative. Okay, now we know that d by dz is going to be equal to tan z and which is going to be equal to d by dz of sine z over cosine z. Now, using the quotient formula, we can easily uh, see that this is going to be equal to cosine square z in the denominator and in the numerator we get cosine z multiplied by d by dz of sine z minus sine z into d by dz of cosine z and we have proved the formulas for d by dz of sine z and d by dz of cosine z okay now let's use those uh, derivatives and what do we get so derivative of uh, sine z is basically cosine z so the first term in the numerator is going to be cosine square z and we also know that the derivative of cosine z is going to be equal to minus uh, sine z and this minus and this minus will become positive and so that's why we get uh, sine square z to be the second term in the numerator and we know that cosine square z plus sine square z is equal to 1 so that's why we get 1 over cosine square z and this is directly equal to secant square z so that's why the derivative of tan z is going to be equal to secant square z. Now, on the same lines, we can prove uh, the following derivative formulas once again using the quotient rule and the product rules, etc. etc. This is the end of our discussion on the trigonometric functions.